when we were at our friend's facility, just because um, when we were at our friend's facility, I was working him and there was movement and I was keeping him engaged with me. Right now, we have him on place, which is what you're gonna more so do when you're at home. Um, and it's hard for him. He's barking a little bit. He's getting up out of place. So I've got my e-collar. I've got it set for level eight um, right now. Place. Oh, place. And what I'll do is when I move the vacuum, I don't want it where right now, because there's too much pressure right now, but going straight towards him. I'm going to make it where it's always kind of going indirectly to him. So I'm moving around and I'm going to do this spot. If he gets up, I'm going to just hold space of wherever I am with the vacuum. I'm going to keep the vacuum on. And I'm going to just tell him place and tap, tap, tap. And if I need to dial up, I will. So I'm going to keep it at eight. I got to 12 right there. And we'll see how it goes. The most important thing is if he starts to react, I just pause and I hold space for the vacuum and then I move in to settle him down before the vacuum moves again. I don't want to take the vacuum away while he's still in the wrong state of mind and he's barking at it and being really anxious about it. Good boy. 